Let's see how to set a static IP on Ubuntu 22.04. Now I'm connected to my network via Wi-Fi, but if you are using a wired connection, the steps are basically the same thing. So first we need to click on the menu on the top right of the screen. And here we can see the name of our Wi-Fi network. For me, it's home. Now, if we click on it, we can open the Wi-Fi settings. And here we can see that we are connected to the home network and we have this gear icon next to it. So let's click on this gear icon. Now, right now I'm using a dynamic IP address or in other words, my IP address is assigned by a DHCP service. Now it works great, but my IP address can change. So at the moment, my IP address is this one. But if I now, for example, restart my computer, the DHCP service can theoretically give me a different IP address. If we want a guarantee that our IP address will be fixed and will not change, we need to use a static IP address. So to do that, let's change to the IPv4 tab. And here I'm going to change the method from automatic or DHCP to manual. And now we need to fill in a few details. So the first one is the address I want. And for the sake of this discussion, let's just copy the IP address that was assigned to me by the DHCP service. So I'll get back to the details tab, copy my current IP address and paste it as my wanted address. And I can of course change it if I want. So let's for example change it from 17 to 171. The next thing we need to fill in is the net mask. And this one can be a bit tricky. So first let's open our terminal. And here I run IPA. Here is the Wi-Fi network card. And here is the IP address it's currently using. And of course it's the same value we just saw. Now notice that after the IP address, we have slash and then another number, in my case, 24. So my full IP address is this one, slash 24. So what does this 24 have to do with our net mask? So the thing is that net masks can be expressed in two different ways, either as a single number, as written here, 24 in my case, or in a format that's very similar to an IP address. So how can we translate the 24 to the other format? So there is a little bit of math behind it, but the simplest way is to use a website that does the work for us. One example of such website is calculator.net. In this website, under other calculators, we have subnet calculator. So let's click on it. And here next to subnet, there is a drop-down box with very many options. This table is exactly what we want and it simply shows the two formats next to each other. So for example, 24 is expressed this way, 255, 255, 255, 0. And 25 is expressed this way. So the difference is that this one uses 128 instead of 0 as the last number. Anyway, in my case, since we found that my IP address uses the 24 suffix, that's the number we need to type in, 255, 255, 255, zero. So let's get back to the IP settings and type in this number. Great. The next thing is the gateway. So let's get back to the details tab. And another name for the gateway is default root. So we can see that we already have the value over here. So I'll just copy it and paste it as my gateway. The last thing we need to set is the DNS. So let's turn off the automatic toggle button. And to get the value, let's switch back to the details tab. And here we can find it, DNS as the last entry. So let's copy it. And paste it as our DNS. Notice that here the values need to be separated by a comma. So let's add a comma. And we are done. Let's click on apply. And that's it, our computer will now always use the same IP address. So let's turn off the Wi-Fi, then turn it on again to get our new IP address. And if we now check our IP address in the terminal, we can see that our IP address is the one we set.
and it's not going to change. It will always keep this specific value.